How's it going everybody? What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we take an old seat and we completely revamp it. There's going to be some changes we're going to make. This is the seat that I'm currently discussing. You can see where originally we had this piece that kind of came out. I cut that off because that's part of the design I'm not interested in keeping anymore. You can see originally it did have wood. Looks to be some sort of single single ply plywood not in the best of shape the bottom hidden underneath the rug is all rotten now this side is all right but kind of towards the center it's in pretty bad shape so as you can imagine we're not gonna be reusing this we will use it as a template just mainly for the the seat height so we know how tall it needs to be there's also some pieces that I'm interested to like this piece that kind of curves it has the same contour of the shape of the boat so we'll capture this as well one of the little additions that we're gonna do on this instead of having the it, it come out we're just gonna round off the seat so you do have something to sit up against which would be this side it's just gonna be rounded versus this huge piece that comes along the side. You could technically reuse it if you like, but for me, myself, not really too interested in it. You can also see here, if you remember when we were installing the fuel tank, there was an access port towards the bottom. Well, the people who designed the boat originally, they essentially made it where you couldn't access the, the underneath the floor to look at the fuel tank if you needed to because they put this centerpiece so what I did was I notched out where a new center needs to be on this side and one on this side and then the X indicates don't put anything there it's a better design and obviously you shouldn't need to but if you ever need to look under there to see if you have a fuel hose that leaked off or, or sorry fell off and maybe leaking you'll be able to see that and that's gonna be one of the improvements we're gonna make so that would be the first improvement Second improvement is we're going to round this off so we don't have this huge, crazy-looking uh, bench in the back. That'll be the first two. And then I'm going to build this whole thing out of marine-grade plywood. And that's going to be different than what it, it's currently set up as. And let's spin around towards the back. You can see here we're going to capture this angle. On another piece of plywood I think this is just it looks like half inch I'm considering building everything out of three-quarter it just kind of holds together a little bit better they also had carpet back here here's something to kind of focus in on here and I noticed this when this when the seat was in place this is where you have the water separator here or the fuel filter and then this is where the nozzle was coming in actually it was hitting hitting that part of the engine and it's kind of hard to see here but there was actually kind of a an oil spot too because this is where the harmonic balancer and the the assembly is for for all the um, belts it's all right there so that it's a little too close so I'm actually gonna push everything forward a little bit and change some things initially this thing is about 69 inches wide from side to side What I'm actually going to do in this case is go from 69 inches to 73, give us a little bit more uh, real estate side to side. That's going to be helpful. Yeah, so 73 inches is going to be good. Another thing too I notice is our back piece here, 30 inches wide. So okay, so what we've got so far is we've cut our 30. By 73 this is the backboard as always you can see hydrotech three quarters what we're gonna end up using here so next thing we're gonna do now that we got the backboard cut is we'll go ahead and try to capture those side pieces so we have an idea what that's gonna look like all right and you'll see here demoed out the other side. This is what I guess would be your side piece. Left and right are going to be the same. 
So we're just going to cut this. We're going to use one as the uh, initial template. And like I said before, we're going to round this off some way so it tapers to a nice little round edge. But this is what the side looks like. This is kind of a pain in the butt to, to separate. Half inch. Leftover foam there. But it's going to look good once we get it all put together here. So, all right. Let's go ahead and find a piece. This is uh, 24 inches. Let's see what if see if I got a uh, spare piece laying around. I bet I do. So we'll go ahead and put that on there and start tracing it out. All right. You can see here, relatively straight lines. Then this is kind of where that one piece branched off. I just made the outer um, areas here to kind of show where it was. And then I'm going to take it and then basically roll the corners a little bit. And then it's a rolled angle all the way to the end. All right, so the only thing that I need to double check is because our backboard is 30 inches. We just want to do a quick check to make sure it's 30 inches on that side as well. All right, so just went ahead and sanded all the edges. Came out pretty good. Loving this, loving this Aquatech. So, all right, so now that we got this side completed, we'll go ahead and just trace this out on another sheet and that will complete our sides but yeah looks good so far here all right looks good so we got two pieces here it's our left and right side three quarter inch and like i said i used one as a template for the other so they match up perfectly sanded all the edges to make it look nice and clean like i said here the idea is we're trying to duplicate the shape specifically on the top to match the contour of the boat so if I was considering trying to build a different type of bench I probably would have made it more square but my goal is to try to make it look um, and match the top piece the most and then you can see here we've got this this angle it's not a 90 degree angle it's kind of pitched back a little bit so you you're not sitting at a 90 degree angle in your chair trying to relax good luck with that right so anyway yeah this has got a good pretty good angle here as you can see all right so what we're going to do now is let's go back to the chair itself the bench the old one and start taking some measurements there all right so you can see here how i demoed the side so we could capture that angle so that piece is good and that's going to match our other little side over here you can see i had some vandals over here I try to tear this thing up since the last time you saw it I don't know what they're thinking anyway so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna measure this base piece we know it's gonna be 73 inches wide so we'll go ahead and and keep that as is but we do need to measure the length or sorry the um, height on that all right so I cut the front piece now 10 inches and allowed for the sides too so I cut about a half, uh, inch and a half off the, the end so it'll fit on the the uh, sides and you won't see the screws okay so let's go ahead now and attach the side pieces and we'll get this thing stood up all right welcome to the second piece here you can see what we got is we put in our two uh, center sections here and the point of the center sections obviously is to give it uh, more strength and the other piece we actually used to have three in here and we did away with a third and just have two because number one we're using half inch marine grade plywood and that's more than adequate to hold this uh, bench up the other thing is we offset it so we'll have access to the fuel hoses if ever need be while in the boat and we don't have to actually move the seat but originally they actually put one of these center sections directly in in the middle of where the hoses were so was, you know say a hose did fall off while you were boating you would never be able to get access to it because there was a physical blockage in the middle total design issue but i'm sure they didn't catch it until the whole entire bench was already assembled uh, assembled and put in the boat so they obviously weren't going to change it up so this is one of the many improvements we've made on this version of the bench the other thing too is we gave it this nice little contour around the this uh, the side versus having these huge 
pieces as you saw earlier in the video. And anyway, this has got plenty of stainless steel screws, marine grade plywood of course. What we're going to do next is we're going to flip it as if it was sitting in the boat and test seat the um, benches that are going to go in here. Alright, take a look at this. These ends actually did with a tennis racket, believe it or not, trying to get the perfect turn on it. But it's an exact duplicate in all ways as the original was set up. Pretty neat. We just, like I said, made that little change in the center section, but we did this with three quarter inch plywood, marine grade specifically, compared to the half inch we had. If you notice, it, it does, it is not sitting at a 90 degree, so the passengers will have a, a nice little ride versus having to sit upright. Let's go ahead and put that cushion in place. There's actually two separate ones that operate on hinges. Let's go ahead and put those in and see how they fit up. All right, take a look here. We got the finished product here. Ends up being total 70, I believe it's like 72 and a half inches wide. We have a one piece seat. I went back and forth on this to decide if I wanted two individual seats versus a single seat. Tend to have a lot of people I found that like to sit in the back seat all at once. So I kind of wanted to help with the weight distribution by just making one solid piece, kind of my own little design. I also plan on having some angled foam kind of in the center. So I left a one inch relief on this side and then we'll put like some, um, kind of like a, a wedge into here so we can have some corner foam just so if you want to lean up in there. Same thing over here as well. We duplicate that same corner and I've got enough for three inch foam around the back. And keep in mind, this is three quarter inch uh, Hydrotech. That's what we ended up using here. All fastened together with the 305 stainless steel screws. So there's no actual ferrous metals in this per se. But this is what it looks like. So what we did is we just took the do it, we took and duplicated the measurements of the prior boat. Just made it a little bit longer in terms of the bench in the back. So it will utilize more space. The only thing different is we're going to have to get it uh, covered. Whereas the original, we would maybe just be able to reuse the, uh, the covers in some cases. But probably not me, considering how much work we put into this sucker here. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Next step is I'm going to send this thing off to get uh, custom covered. And we'll do a follow-up video after it's complete so you can see what the, the work looks like. I'm shooting for all white, nothing crazy, and that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that like button if you thought the video was helpful, and we will catch you on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.